<laughs> Why is your puppy dogs? Or what the? The hell, buddy? Okay, boys, let's ride the house. We got this. Probably. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. How are we doing? Hope everyone's had a good day. It is still wintry as fuck in in uh, in Melbourne, but uh, hopefully everyone is nice and warm. Have we got some hoodies on, some blankies, some snacks, some snuggles from a floofy companion, perhaps? Lyrium is cold. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Hopefully you are coping and surviving tonight. We're cracking on with Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, in our last session, we tried to go and pay our fine that we owe to the Nova Corps, and their base was empty and then filled with mind-controlled fanatics. I'm blaming that weird priest guy and his ship when we were first there at the very start of the game. Um, so something weird's going on there. Uh, we escaped... We've headed to nowhere, and if anyone's seen the movies, you know, we see when you've heard of nowhere before. It's like a, a space station colony, if you like, within inside the head of a dead celestial being. Um, so in nowhere, we are here to meet Cosmo to report what we saw with the Nova Corps. Um, Rocket has chucked a massive wobbly. He is very pissed at Peter um, uh, to the point where he has stormed off with Groot. So I don't know where they're gone. They're, they're claiming to go to that they've left and they're doing their own thing. We'll see how long that lasts. Uh, Drax has gone to look at the stars and ponder his lost family. Don't know where Gamora has gone. Um, but anyway, we are trekking about on our own in uh in nowhere we saw the museum which had a cool bunch of easter eggs and cameos there but we shall crack on and see if we can find this cosmo dude to report the things and then i don't know we still need to get this b pay fine paid and this tracker removed from a damn ship Let's see. All right, so we're tr creeping through the alleyway. So this is the way to Cosmo, but these guys are saying the bridge is closed because things are going on. I'm like, yeah. You have brain rot. Told you before, you not take bridge. Yeah, I something's doing outside things in alley. In alley, yeah, sure he is. Something very suspect's going on, but anyway. Let's crack on. Let's find Cosmo. Let's scan some things, collect some loot. We won some coins. We spent some coins. Or units. Currency. Dollars. Yeah, this is a very sketchy looking alley. Some cool artwork there, though. All right. Cross here, you've got whiskey and cola and a dash or two more whiskey than normal. <laughs> that's all right. That's a good mix. Me too. I join you in spirit for a drink of spirits. Theo, welcome back, man. Haven't seen you for a little while. Thanks for checking in. We are creeping through the alleyways of nowhere. Hopefully we'll get to have our party back again at some point. You in here? Cosmo! Yeah, although... Not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Gross. Um, I agree. So, even though this is a pretty linear game, the level designs are all pretty stunning. They all look amazing. They all give you the atmosphere you need. And it, to be honest, it's kind of nice. It's a nice break to play a linear game where you don't have to think too much about navigating, deciding what to do next. No, no, the game just says this is what's next. You explore in tiny little bits just to get some extra okay. upgrades. And that's it. Find Cosmo, then I can deal with the team. If I ambush find... time. <laughs> I, I reckon it's ambush time. Something, something's going on for sure. 
Let's see. Oh, conversation prompt. Imitate. Max. Are you afraid, Peter Quill? I'm a brute and near invincible. I fear nothing. You, however, will perish in this maze. <laughs> That's accurate. Why are we so zoomed in? We can only walk and we're super zoomed in. All right, thanks, game. Uh, scan some shit. Is that the way forward? No, that might be... Is there something sick to... Uh, Hi, whoop. Mo. That you? Oh, oh, I hate mazes. Especially stinking brain mazes. Gross. Deep breath. Deep breath. I can't even jump. So, Frosty, you've got a bad cardboard cut at work. Oh, really? They're like full-on grazers when you get a cardboard cut. Oh, liquor boxes are evil <laughs> with deceptively sharp edges. Yes, I've done my time with uh, cardboard working in a supermarket as well. Especially uh, lots of cardboard with soft drinks and stuff. I've never done liquor. Look at you, flarkin' Humey. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines. <laughs> As a guy with the fear of snakes, his area is a big far <laughs> from you. Yeah, that's fair. Snakes? I don't like snakes, but I don't have a phobia. I do have a phobia of spiders, though. Although it's not too extreme that it stops me playing games, but it is one thing that if I ever design a game, I am never putting giant spiders in it. If you are a future game designer, stop putting giant spiders in every single fantasy game. <laughs> Why is it always spiders? Cosmo! Get the upgrade components. Yoink. Okay, keep on creeping through. Why did the alleyway of the market suddenly turn into giant, weird, open, cavernous area? Jade gets the spider thing from his mama. Yes, he does. Because Mama Shade and <laughs> Mama Sparkle Sauce, uh, yeah, she hell I don't like spiders. Theo's going to make a special boss spider when he makes a game one day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> I will fight it and swear all the way through. This sounds like a fight time. This sounds very fighty. What's going on here? And this is ambush territory. Yep. That's a big Hellboy looking dude. Why are we being ambushed? Just rocket boot out of there. Oh, there's another one. is not good at all. Look at what we got here. Watch it, Star-Lord. And what's a filthy scut stain Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Because everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys, wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. Hmm. I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. <laughs> yeah, we do. has got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, I heard nowhere. Mm. <laughs> well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him! Get boot time. Nice. Oh, that is some heavy armor. Shit, how do we take that out? We've been hired to cover some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, uh, lots of people have jackets. All right, can we yeah, scan? The, the lady wanted. So hurry up and die. 
separate brother separate separate from brother separate from brother to disable armor capitalize on damage while armor is disabled hot tempered could be baited into charging all right duly noted same for the other guy the ladies want him alive same deal okay <laughs> we bait them into charging. Uh, Lady H, whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice. You don't cross Lady H. Uh, uh, triple. Uh, I'll, I'll triple it. Yeah, man, I'm wrong. How do we get them separate? Sit down, have a choker dog. Run this over. Now. Shut up already. Okay. Look, guys, this is a big misunderstanding. Scrawny little Terran is scared. Yeah, uh, yeah. At once. All right, now. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah. Time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart. He's pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! Here. No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? <laughs> right? Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> oh, Gamora. <laughs> yes. Oh, she's so badass. Nice. Peter, shoot now. We need to keep them separated. Yeah, we do. Hells yeah. Draw them apart before <laughs> shooting, Peter! Oh, we got them together again, Gamora. We need to split them up! Yeah, I know. There we go. <laughs> nice of you to show up, Gamora! Where'd she come from? Balance health onto each other. That's fine. Oh, there's the charge. Get this guy. There's your chance, Gamora. Feel this? They've had this trap ready for a while. You two are just making me want to hit you harder. Now we got him. Now we got him. That's all right. One health bar down. Together. Yeah, I know, Gamora. We're pulling them apart. Hey! Cracks to the win! To the rescue. <laughs> These are massive dudes. Lucky Drax is tough. Miss us? Yes, I definitely missed you. Teamwork when it's on the other side! Last time someone got stabbed! Which one's Ronson? That one. This one will clear my head! Nice to meet you! Let's see how many bounty hunters are coming. Let's weaken Ronson. Oh, ah, mistimed that. What the Guardians can do! Lady H is gonna make you suffer! Go, Dra actually, not yet, Drax. Not yet. Oh, I should have seen that coming. Look out! Okay, one at a time. Which one is weakened? This one. Now go, Drax. Actually, nope, they're powering up again. All right. Just get whichever one is weak. What oh. is happening? Oh, that's weird. We don't even get to finish the fight. 
and all they can do is crawl towards our guns. Come on, Peter. Get your shit together, man! Yes, no, uh, oh. Who is this? Come that on. is... It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Mom. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Ah, yes, I remember this. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. All right, so we're back to the tail end of this sequence where we go upstairs to find what I think is going to be Peter's guns. Don't you dare touch that dial. All right. The flash. Oh, it's your doggo. That's right. There's your doggo. We can. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Is it going to have Ego as a character in this? I don't think Ego shows up in this game. But I do think Howard the Duck makes an appearance, and I do think that the dog in the spacesuit shows up, but I can't remember what the dog's called. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. Mission for the win, hey? All right, so let's just check around in here again. That's right, because that is, this is Grandma and Grandpa's room. I don't know where they've gone. All right, so into the bedroom to find the other birthday present. Yep, no more commentary because I've already clicked on them last time we were here. Alrighty. Here's the box. Now, last time the camera just dove into the box. Supposed to take it down to open together. Ah, there we go. I knew you wouldn't wait. an epic mullet. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space. Ugh, Mom. I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but something has changed. And now more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Epic mullet and never disappearing black eye, yeah. Yep, there's the guns. Hold it. Whoa. Whoa, guns, yeah. Magic space guns. There, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Hmm. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What do you mean, important? Hmm. He was king. Of an entire world. Called Spartax. Far, far away. And he was a great leader. And the way you look after people, Peter, I know you're going to be just like him. Mm. But leading is never easy. Mm. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really want to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I that hope piece. I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're going to have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. Goes barking. I'll be right back. Okay. 
Now, is this when Peter gets abducted? <laughs> oh, they are reacting. Sick. <sighs> oh, don't break shit. <gasps> no! Oh, yep, shit going down. Yep, someone's here. Uh, is it the same as the movie? I think it might be different because I think the movies did a different path for Peter's father where Planet Ego was his dad. I'm not sure if that's the same in the comics. Now, this follows the comics more closely. I think. And I don't know enough about the comics. All right. Gun. New gun time. Are they going to shoot? Oh, I can't control very much. All right. That's, yep. Hook and corners. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the Chitauri. Oh, we can shoot. I just wish your father was here to help us. What? How could he help? What do you mean, how could he help? Have you not seen the magic guns that we're using, Peter? Yeah, doofus. So the Chitauri came, collected him. Up the ravages in this storyline. All right, Mama's down. Where's our guns? Hmm. Yeah, I thought I remember reading or hearing that. <gasps> Ain't your puppy dog? Uh, what the? The hell, buddy? What are you doing there? You scuds got lucky. Yeah. We almost murdered her. The word is murdered. That's what he said. Sheesh, no use being pediatric. <sighs> oh, crap. Would kill a lot of you. But not you, Mr. Big Words. Nope. Lady H won't kill you alive. Not too alive. Why did she? You failed your mission. Miserably. Peter Quill. These lackluster bounty hunters claim Lady Hellbender hired them to kill us. Hey, we ain't no slouches. We're part of a league now. No, no, no. Not a league. You said yourself she'd hunt us to the end of the universe. I had hoped she'd send a monster. Not these two. We would have murderized you. But don't worry. There's more coming. Uh, did you hear that, Peter Quill? A silver lining. Yeah, that's great, Drax. Yeah, he's excited. Don't be long in these clabber trap. Not us. Mm -mm. Friends will be breaking us out. Soon, huh? Real soon. Then you wish we did kill. Be silent. I think you're right, Theo. They were imaginary pups because they're gone. They were awesome and cute, but now they got bring back the puppies. Ah, oh, disappointment. Now what? Reckon Lady H will get us out of here then. I reckon someone will. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Hey, this is a big mistake. I'm innocent. Cosmo, are you out there? Cosmo! Yeah, Cosmo. What else we got? Oh, uh, Gamora. Nice that you finally showed up. Would have been even nicer if you didn't abandon me in the first place. I never left. One minute, we're having a great time, and the next... <laughs> Wait a second, did you use me as bait? Huh. Yep. Well, your plan worked a little Mark. too well, seeing how we're in jail now. We're all in prisons of our own making, Peter. Oh, that's very deep and philosophical. What else can we interact with? This thing. Hello? Cosmo? I really need to use the bathroom. Yeah, get your mitts off of him. Oh, here's Rocket and Groot. Oh, you gotta explain. Oh, look, butter just scratched me. Oh, I'll do more than that. I'll murderize you. Ugh. Hey guys, didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, cram it, Flatnard. Flatnard? Yeah, <laughs> and a scruff you in one too. Shut up and get in there. <laughs> a scruff on, tune. What's your problem? You are. That's why we quit. Yes, you did. Now stop talking to him. Rocket, buddy, come on. We had a good thing going. You and Groot are better than two bit bounty hunters. Scoff. 
What did you say? I said scoff. You don't say scoff, you just scoff. Oh, so now I don't express myself proper like? <laughs> yep. You know what? You're a real piece of Rocky, dude, woof. We should have woofed you in when we woofed the chance. Like, woof we are. You don't woof woof woof. What? You rough in front of me? I told you a bajillion times. I'm not a roughing animal. What were you talking about? You woof woof woof. What the hell? <laughs> Give me the puppies. Oh, here it is. The weird space dog thing. Sorcerer, is this? Where are we? You would have been still on nowhere. <laughs> Osmo! How you doing, buddy? We were just Os about... <laughs> Osmo is the dog. <laughs> right. Guardian of Galaxies will tell Cosmo why they broke into Continuum Cortex. Or Cosmo will conjure worse psychic gulag. Broke into the... the Do not feed Cosmo Cat Biscuit's Peter Quill. It's Russian. You work with Blood Brothers. Create distraction so Pesky Raccoon and Sentient Tree Friend Ah. Use continuum cortex. Cosmo also know Guardian of Galaxies have Nova Tracker on ship. Okay, I'm sure it's just one big misunderstanding. I went to Poppies. Right? Right. We're here because something happened on the no oh. Guardian of Galaxy were on Nova Rock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we went to find Centurion Corral and pay our fine. Why? Strange transmissions spreading across galaxy. Like rabbits in springtime. Cosmos I'll explain in a minute. Team to investigate none return. Now Nova Rock sending the same signal. Guardian of Galaxy will tell me what they saw. The Nova Corps were killing each other. Yeah. Mind controlled. It was like they were drinking funky juice or something. Or joined the cult. Yeah, during that ritual with the priest. They kept talking about a promise. <laughs> right away, sir. Fraternity and Raptors. Cult of the Negative Sounds. Universal Church. Whoa, 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 stop. <laughs> that's them. Yep, that's the guy. And it's with them. Shuttle exploded on the Hallis Hope. Yep. Grand Unifier Raker, leader of the Universal Church of Truths. That name ring bell for Cosmo. He's old cult. Very powerful during Galactic War. Now, not so much. You said the rock was transmitting a signal. What if the religion were somehow... And yet, the Universal Church of Truths died with Gold Skin God. Let us investigate the Hallow's Hope for you. <laughs> what? You said none of your teams return, right? Yeah, so let's go and do a suicide mission. Staffed. We want to find out what happened as much as you do. We do. So let us investigate for you. Always a catch, Peter Quill. And not, not fun, fun kind, kind with ball. Ball. What, what Guardian, Guardian of Galaxies want in return? Units! Drop the charges. Contact Nova Corps HQ and get the world mind to forgive our fine. Then we'll go. It's not being so easy. Oh, you can do it. <sighs> Face it, dog breath. You need us. Us? For now. Hmm. Unless you got someone else stupid enough to go. In Soviet Russia, Cosmo would not trust words of capitalist scum. But this is not motherland. And Cosmo no power of collateral. Guardian ship, stay on nowhere. What? You can't take our ship? My ship. How are we gonna find the Hallow's Hope? Ask Pesky Raccoon. Now come, essences of time. I'm above the essence. He got it backwards, Cosmo. Wow, alright.
Cool, so I think I know what's going on. Where are we going exactly? So Ooh. So the the priest we saw on Hella's Hope ship at the start is responsible, like we suspected. Um they've taken over the Nova Core ship or doing some dodgy shit. Cosmo appears to be this Labrador dog in the spacesuit. I never knew his name. I, I thought he was in the game, but anyway. Um, apparently he's from Russia, so that's interesting. He also appears to be psychic. So, we arrived on Nowhere trying to find Cosmo to tell him about the Nova Corps, because Cosmo is head of security of something something. Rocket and Groot were really pissed, so they left us. They disappeared. It appears that they were trying to break into something on Nowhere to steal some special device or whatever. Cosmo assumed we were in on it and that us picking a fight with those big red Invincible Brother dudes was a distraction so that Rocket could break in. Obviously, that's not the case, but we've just gone along with it to, uh, I guess, kind of help Rocket. Lady Hellbender, the one that we tricked into selling, we sold Groot to, to get some money. She's the one who's put a bounty on us. She's the one who is therefore responsible for those brothers attacking us in the first place. Cosmo um, has sent teams to the Nova Corps ship that has been seemingly or taken over by um, this weird church cult thing. And uh, so Rocket and Quell have convinced him that send us the Guardians because no one else will go and we want to find out what happened to. That makes sense. I think we're all caught up. That's what's going on. And so Cosmo, the psychic Labrador dog thing in a spacesuit, seems to have cool abilities. <clears throat> so when we were in a prison, we weren't physically in a prison. It was like a psychic or mental prison not real and so we've now woken up and that's why we had the imaginary space doggo papa space doggo puppers yeah cool all right let's see what happens next to original settlement from early days before kiva group come you mean the first mining colony is still here Duh. now abandoned mostly entirely restored uh. right so he's keeping our ship hostage, but there's another way to get to the Hallas Hope ship, which is the name of the ship of the Nova Corps that we're trying to get to, where Corel and Nikki, uh, the smart girl, is. So they here, are they? On nowhere. Give him the ray. Give Rubby's tummy. That'll make Cosmo happy with us. Broke, into. broke implies it took effort. Wait. This is the Continuum Cortex? It's best, best way, way to, to reach Nova, Nova ship before it moves again. We found Corel. Where is she? Nova ship currently in a leader system orbiting right. microplanet. Contraxia. Cosmo not surprised. Pesky raccoon enjoy garbage planet. Their restrooms do provide valuable information. Entire planet now broadcasts same signal as Nova Rock. Cosmo not understand purpose or intention. All them bars and bedding parlors and brothels. Maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. We can find Corel and save Contraxia. Maybe we shouldn't make too many guarantees. We're the guardians of the galaxy. This is what <laughs> we do. I am with you, Peter Quill. You are? Of course. That was a rousing speech. Bootlicker. <laughs> How many people know about this place? Enough. It's, it's not, not broadcast, broadcast across the galaxy. galaxy. But, but scientists, scientists come from many backgrounds. Background. If Thanos had known this was here... Ah, dead Titan King no longer concerned for claws. I am surprised the rodent was able to bypass your security systems. Pesky raccoons are known for entering yards uninvited. Aw, oh, is the puppy mad that I outsmarted him? Cosmo's ancestor is wolf. Even human, like Piotr Quill, fear wolf. Perhaps pesky raccoon need reminder. Bring it on, dog breath. Okay, so they know where the ship is. Well, he knows where the ship is. It seems to be near Contraxia, which is another planet we keep hearing of, um, which is apparently a small garbage-filled planet or something. Um, hence the banter between Rocket and Cosmo the Doggo. And it is broadcasting the same signal that the rock base that we visited 
where all the creepy shit was happening with oh and i'm taking too long so it's just gonna autopilot us there all right sorry about that game um so this continuum whatever place is what brock rocket and groot broke into and this is a way to travel directly to the ship because they know where the ship is it would seem i think that's what's happening because I took too long listening to everything and talking myself, it's now autopiloting. <laughs> All right. Game will just play itself. No point me being here. <laughs> I can't pat the doggo either, Grizz. Sorry. Sprint. Uh, nope, no sprint. There is no sprint button. Every time I push it, so what brings is up this? the menu. Like another elevator? They'll figure it out. Please to stand back, Guardian of Galaxies. Whoa! Whoa! I know! It's like they've never seen a giant transdimensional hand before. Please to step in ball. What if things go sideways? How do we get back? With passport. Can communicate with Cosmo, and if emergency, bring Guardian of Galaxies back. I would. Better you take it than Captain Valor over here. This time. Investigate Nova ship. Use passport to report findings. And you'll speak to the world mind? Get rid of that fine, right? Goes on the best. Good luck, Guardian of Galaxies. Anyone see any seatbelts? You better not throw up this time. Yeah. This is oh. Sorcery? I was going to say dizzying. I am good. You get used to it. Are we in space? We're somewhere between space, between dimensions, between time, between realities, even. Trippy. Between. We could theoretically go wherever and whenever with this thing. Even the places that don't exist, but uh, do. It's incredible. Avengers! Hulk? Assemble! What kind of name is Avengers? Ah. Rip. Normal. You ain't heard nothing yet. Oh, Pat Benatar and Joan Jet watch over us. Who are these gods you speak of? Goddesses. Uh, Drax? <laughs> I am not the one laughing. There's obviously an ill omen of our impending deaths. No matter where you hide, I will find you. No. Or it's an alternate reality. Yeah. Multiverse! <laughs> I was laughing. Definitely an alternate reality. Nice. Hey, no! It's Spider Man! Wait, is that Earth? Yeah. Mom? Come on, you're dating for the promise here. Come on in, Janie. Peter will be up in a second. Really? Janie? Okay. Next stop, Alice Hope. Probably. Alternate. Definitely ultimate timeline there because as we saw, Peter was abducted at age 13 and his mama got shot. That's what you missed, Sparkle Sauce. The sad memory you were fit scared of finally happened. Oh, you guys okay? Do we look okay? Well, hang in there. I'll try to restore gravity. Oh, great. We're going to be stuck like this forever. Rocky, Come on. Buddy, what am I looking for? Drax. Tell Scut Lord most ships use external power conduits to generate pseudo gravity in hyperbaric airlocks. The beast says to find a power conduit. Right, and what do those look like? Tell him any vestiges of power should show up on his visor. And to stop asking so many blocking questions and get us down from here. Alright, so find something power related. Using terrible happened here. What gave it away? The lack of gravity or the general destruction? Okay, I've got two conduits here. Someone tell them to turn them on. Thanks, buddy. Nothing's happening. Gamora, tell him to check the power supply. It's empty. Then tell him to find a battery. Did you catch that? Yeah, yeah. This looks like a... Is this a floating battery? No. Where do we find... 
battery to steal. Up the end there, that yellow thing. All right. That'll do. Uh, someone tell him what he's looking for. Peter Quill, you are supposed to be looking for something. A battery, so we can get the lousy gravity going. Might be just what we need. Then pick it up already. All right. Okay, got, it. got us a battery. Took him long enough. Hey, I'm trying, man. And we're still floating around. Yep, Rocket is still a grumpy boy. What's the fucking, what's the up button? That's the up button. There we go. Okay, I got the battery installed, Gamora, but nothing's happening. Seriously? Uh, fine. I'll tell them. Listen up, slug breath. Tell me what you see. Uh, there's a blue wire and two connections, yellow and red, and one big green thing. Don't touch the green thing! Not a great time to start yelling, dude! Okay, okay. First, plug the wire to either connection. All we need is a little jump start. To either okay. one? It's not brain surgery, just pick one. Uh, here goes nothing! Oh, crap! <laughs> Bad choice. Everybody, just hold on. Oh, guns are morphing. Yes. Morphy guns. Shit, I need to hit the button, get them both in there, and that one. Yes. First time this time. Nice. The gravity was not restored. You had one chop, Will. I did exactly what? <laughs> Success. <laughs> All right, Rocket Tell is me still. More about this job, Rodent. Why? Impressive, Peter Quill. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Neither did I. Those firearms are becoming quite formidable. Second time they've transformed like that. Third. If that was the third time, when was the first? The day I was kidnapped. When my mom died. We should continue our investigation for the dog. We'll need to get this wreckage out of the way first. I am Groot. Groot's right. Should move if we give it a jolt. Alright, what are we shooting? What do you mean a code word? I am Groot. Fine. Groot won't call the mud until we all agree on a code word. Could be useful if we get cornered by whatever's on the ship. How about Quill Kill? Not covert enough. Must be something said in everyday conversation. Ooh, oh! The co-word is ride the stars. And we should hold off calling Cosmo until we figure out what's going on. We should also standardize our use of the term dog report item to distinguish information of interest to our investigation. Yep. Sure thing, buddy. <laughs> sure thing, Drax. Item. Something caused Novacore to abandon their ship. Maybe they all just quit. Some people don't give up when things start going wrong. Was that a crack? No, it was a pointed criticism. Guys, Rocket left, but he's back now. That's all that matters. What of the dog's investigation? And whether or not Nikki and Corell are okay. Fine. Multiple things matter. Everything matters. Let's crack on. Yes, Grizz, I hit the ride the stars for you, bro. Couple of idiots called the Blood Brothers. Lady Hellbender sent them. Guess she's still sore then. The Monster Queen's rage is unending. Yeah, <laughs> she's still pierced. Yes. All right. Let's blast this with electricity. Am I doing it wrong? Go up and. Or is I it already? What else guns can do. If you let me look at him, I could tell you. Okay, that's um 
Rogue sparky sparks on the ground. We'll skip those. Shit. If I had any units, I'd bet that mutt knew what we were getting into here. He did not require much convincing. Alright, there is some um, loot below. Don't know how we get there. Wonder how many made it out alive. Not many. Explain your pessimism. Alive people let someone know they're alive. And the mutt said he ain't heard from nobody. That is true. Okay, can we get someone to interact with this? Drax, can you smash Drax, it? Drax, gonna need your stopping powers here. Of course, if you believe we need to clue. Thank you. It will not lead to a clue, but it may lead to some loot. Using the electrical shoot to sh shoot another power junction. Okay. Ah. Now we're doing the rocket running around in in uh, electrical cavities. Okay, so that one's powered. We need to power the other one. Find another way to power something. This is the only way out, but the door's got no juice. Must be on a different circuit. Can't you transfer power to it? I'm not the one with the zappy guns. Can we... That'll do it. All right. I'm not sure how that worked, but it did. Good, good job. Good what job, team. Happening? There, you all felt that, right? Yep. The same thing happened when I tried to restore the gravity. It ain't never his fault, is it, Groot? Dast. Looks just like what happened on the rock. Indeed. It was a desperate attempt at a last defensive position. Good bottleneck for it. All the blaster scorch marks are from standard issue Nova rifles. Everything that happened seems to be connected to this ship. Maybe your girlfriend went crazy after seeing you. I doubt Peter Quill could inspire this level of mutiny. <laughs> okay, we need to get to Corell's office. Someone tell Quill. Come on, dude. Can't we just talk to each other? Fine. You do know your girlfriend probably didn't make it. Now nice. you are just being spiteful. Still nothing but emergency power. Dog right, let's... item. Power outage in several sections of the ship. <laughs> Thanks, Drax. All right, we got a note here. Warning, Midra. All I know is they told us we were leaving the quarantine zone, even though we still had rotations left out here. At first, I was glad. Thought maybe we'd hit our furlough. But then it started. I don't know where it started, but it crept through the ship. Missing. Let's run through it all. I'm talking, Peter. People started to change. We thought it was a virus at first. Maybe that's why we left the quarantine zone. But it got worse. They wanted people to convert to something. We tried contacting New Xander, but the worm world mind wouldn't answer. Not long after, they started killing each other. A few of us made for the escape pods, but we <clears throat> but they were waiting. Or right on our heels. They were everywhere. Some of us escaped. I said I'd stay behind and give them a chance. I hear them over the comms, talking to some matriarch. Maybe I can keep hiding, but I don't think I have much longer. Everything hurts, and I just want the hurting to stop. That does not sound good. Meanwhile, welcome Vito. How you doing, man? We got arrested by your girlfriend. As did the churchman Grand Unifier Raker, and then his ship exploded. So maybe that's where it started. Raker might have had something on his ship. A gas, maybe? The explosion could have released it. I've used something like that before. Right. Pump it into the vents and it spreads through the ship. Uh, yep. should we be worried? If we haven't already gone crazy, we might be safe. That's reassuring, I guess. So, uh, welcome Vito and Mr. Nobody. Thanks for dropping in, guys. Perhaps this all began in the quarantine zone. What do you mean? It is a logical point of origin. This ship and Raker were both there. Yeah. And so were we. 
Oh, that's true. We were in the quarantine zone at the start of the game too. That uh, dodgy priest that's and... Lady Hellbender sent a worthy beast to devour us. Oh yeah? And how would she know we were here? It is said the Monster Queen has eyes across the galaxy. Oh, Drax is back to spouting myths about Lady Hellbender again. Oh, we've got Nikki's card from earlier too. Andy? Yes. Where'd you get a Nova Passkey? Nikki gave it to me to keep it away from her mom. We could sell that. It must be worth a couple thousand units. Do you know what Nova Corps does to people who steal from them? <laughs> Look around. How much you want to bet there aren't enough Nova left to execute us? Yes, yeah, so siding with Nikki earlier paid off. We got her key card that's been letting her around the ship. All right, we can for a rubber ducky grenade, like a way to turn the power back on, or some kind of hint to what happened. All right, uh, what do we want to do here? Consume less charge when firing elemental. Yes, let's do that. One shiny upgrade, nice and crafted. We could do with some more health too. Nope, we don't have enough. Oh, I cool. doubt even you could break that. All right, that's where we're sneaking through next. Now All right. we're exploring maintenance tunnels. It can't hurt, can it? Better we check than miss something. This place don't look too safe, is all. Always explore. Get the upgrades. Even though rocket chucks are wobbly. Nikki had all kinds of secret passageways on the ship. Maybe she left a message or something. You are fond of this girl. I, I guess. I mean, we actually had a lot in common. Kind of reminded me of me, you know? I do not know. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I just want to make sure her and her mom are okay. Yes, it's very possible that she is Peter Quill's daughter. How is Groot going to fit through there? Oh, good point. I don't know. Can he can he suck it in? All right, Cadet Gold's attendants. Ooh, so they're talking about Nikki, are they? This is from Trainer Clem. I thought you should know that your daughter continues to miss at least half of her training sessions, and when she does show up, she is frequently late. She continues to borrow equipment outside of her access levels and rarely returns it. We've caught her snooping in off-limits sectors and pestering her superior corpsmen. Foreman. Dudes. Centurion Carmed recently foiled her attempt to stow away a, on a quarantine zone patrol shuttle. I want to be clear. She remains an exceptional recruit. She passes her exams with few mistakes and she knows her material. And that is the reason why I've tolerated her. <laughs> eccentricities but she's put me in an uncomfortable situation my peers are starting to suggest that i'm going easy on her only because she's your daughter i don't want to remove her from the program but i can't keep covering for her i hope you understand and i hope you can get through to her oh well nikki is very gifted so what's the deal with quill and that kid anyway the cadet i don't know i thought he tried to save her just to impress corral <laughs> What do you mean it worked? There's a tracker on my ship. It's Peter's ship, Rocket. Now where are we going? Oh, this was a bonus area, was it? This was not the way forward. Oh, hang on. What do we got up here? All right, some boxes that fell on us. But anyway, we're in the right spot now. Huh. Oh, that did not work. Root, can you do anything? No, we cannot summon. How the hell am I supposed to get over there? Maybe something is attacking the ship. Nah, that ain't exactly a ballistic reaction. It looks like a ledge, but how the fudge do we get up there? anything else to shoot at no what about electricity shots no 
Hmm. Yeah, I think it is the wrong way, Gris, but it looks like we unlocked an extra way. Oh no, we're meant to go up here. That's the way. There we go. Got it. Please don't. That's no, not it's not anyone we know, it's fine. You know this maintenance worker, Peter Quill. No. You seem relieved. I am. Yeah. What the flark are you two doing? Let's go already. All right, let's continue on. Yep, sorry, I got stuck. I got fixated on the far distant ledge, which was not a ledge for us. All right, let's carry on through here. There we go. Now we're on the other side. No way. Drax's rap sheet. He's got to see this. Ah, well, we'll talk to him about that later. That'll be fun. Okay, awesome. So where are we going, I guess, is the next question. This was the... Oh, this was all bonus, I suppose. The, okay, so the way forward was not up here at all. <laughs> but we did get some bonus stuff where we can talk to Drax later, so giddy up. If there was a breach, we'd already be dead. All right, so we sneak through here where Rocket just went? Yes. Hmm. I find it strange that this area is abandoned. There has to be someone on this ship. Probably waiting for us with guns drawn, ready to blast us as soon as we turn a corner. Sounds fun. Wish I knew the layout of this tub better. Then we could figure out where this started. You know where we are, Gamora? Not really. Anova never really let me out of their sight. They had good reason not to trust you. This again? I was only stating that Nova's position of not trusting you was accurate. At the time. The longer we bicker, the more we might miss. Very inspirational. Yeah, you get that off a of placemat? All I'm saying is we're in this up to our necks, and we'll need to work together to get out of it. All right, so I should have hit the refocused investigation button. Follow the angry rabbit, says Grizz. Sounds good. Rodent, where next? Strange. I'd have expected more signs of fighting. It does seem localized to the one area. And now we're stuck. Oh, there we go, we're up. Is Rocket still super mad? He's pretty mad still, yeah. Although we have covered for him, so he's not he's slightly less mad. Before he wasn't speaking to Quill, he was getting everyone else to speak for him. He's like, tell Quill, blah blah blah. But he's he's very slightly less mad. Stumbling around in the dark. Whoa! Ho, ho, look at you, you sexy beast. Ah, uh, <laughs> rocket. Is it supposed to be upside down? Uh, only if you wanted to channel all the ship's power up through the ceiling. Makes no sense to me. There must be a reason. A bad one. Try yeah. that console. Uh, we can use this to re-invert the core, or uh, uh, de-invert. Uh, the divert rocket uh, the console safety lock because the mounting arms are retracted if we can pop them out of them side panels we can flip the core all right pop some robot arms out of side panels how are we doing that Manu manufacturing imperfections in vertical service detected pierce to provide springboard for ascension to guide us with its mysterious power ain't nothing mysterious about it i programmed the dastin thing Shut up, Rocket. It's a very magical mask. Don't spoil the illusion. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to it. Pierce it to provide springboard for ascension. Retractable walkway. Also serves as a locking clamp when fully extended. Okay. I oh, yeah. can Groot do something. That's a fair point. Let's scan this thing. Looks like the arms are stuck without any power. I bet we could jumpstart them. How? Gotta be a power cell somewhere. Could also be some electric boogaloo. 
Nope. Okay. Apparently not. We gotta get them arms out. Yep, I'm working on it. I could probably get you up higher for a better view. There's gotta be more machinery up there. Gamora, give me a boost. Of course. Okay, we're up. Now what do we got? That something up here, obviously. Could be jump started with a strong current, like electricity. You know, them guns would make better engineering tools than weapons. Nice try. Let's get the other one free. All right. Now, this one's the same, but I think I could also nominate Drax. Drax, I need a boost. Ask the assassin. Ah, all right. Maybe not. Need a hand getting up there, Rocket. Yeah, pass. Groot, give me a lift. Groot says no. All right, Gamora, let's get the second one done. Okay. Ready. There we go. In business. Get back down here. Work your magic, rodent. We'll win this together. Hit the music. Ooh, you're a big guy. Rocket, fireworks. How's this for a plan B? Drax, pin it down. Rock lost. A worthy foe. Gamora. 